This voiceover will be on record for the first few slides and after that there will only be a few voiceovers, not in depth. Let me present you with an overview of the signs of the times. The first sign is the signs of nature. In famines, earthquakes, plagues and signs in the heavens. Like unusual weather, new discoveries in space, UFOs, etc. All of these signs have already been prophesied to happen in the Bible. In the references here on screen. Second, the signs of the society. Such as lawlessness, violence, immortality, greed, selfishness, hedonism, rebellion and despair. Thirdly, spiritual signs. And these are both negative and positive. First, let's look at the negative, such as false Christs and prophets and their cultural groups. All over the world, there are more and more people coming out saying, stating that they are God and that they are the reason for creation, which is a false prophet. Apostasy in the professing church. Widespread heresy in the church, movement toward one world religion, which is on the news more and more now. Persecution of true believers, Christians all over the world are being persecuted. Outbreak of dynamic and altruistic activity and some of the positive. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit, so people sharing the gospel. Revival of Davidic worship. So singing and stuff. Worldwide evangelism. Again, people sharing God's word and understanding of Bible prophecy. So people understand the gospel, which is coming out more and more now. Fourthly, world political signs. Re-establishment of Israel. That is happening. Arab hospitality towards Israel. There has been a tweet I think it was last week, um, to sent out by the I think it was he was the head of Afghanistan or something. Um, saying that he would accept help from Russia, China, Israel, Iran. Russia is a menacing power to Israel that has come up recently on the news. Asian nations capable of fielding an army of two hundred million. It's a big thing that has come out in the last few days. And even Biden has admitted to it. Wars and rumours of wars. Kingdom against kingdom. That is civil wars and ethnic wars. That's come out. Reunification of Europe. Movement towards one world economy. Technological signs. Nuclear weapons. There has been on the news. Where they have been storing weapons and there was no security around them. So someone could just pick up a gun and start using it. Television and satellite transmission. I heard on the news the other day that China are starting to change and alter what is on the news. So that people will only see what the government wants them to see. Which stands by this. Robotics. That's covered the place for a long time. Computer and laser technology, which is part of the Mark of the Beast, which is Revelation 13, which we will go into detail later in the video. Sci high speed transportation, which again has come in, is starting to come in in China now. So all these revelation, all these revelations, and parts and references of the Bible, they're all prophecies. Happen they're all happening now. At five, the accelerator sign, population explosion, increase in knowledge, increase in violence, which is happening, increase in transportation, which is happening, rapid disintegration of society, signs in general to be like bird pangs that is increasing in the frequency and intensity, signs of Israel, which is a massive one, regathering of the people happening re-establishment of the state has hap is happening i think reclamation of the land revival of the language reassurance of the mil resurgence of the military which is happening i think refocusing of one war of world politics 
starting to happen more and more now. Reoccupation of Jerusalem. 